really hear me, bitch. Nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain. And Mambo Jumbo, my lovely people, welcome back to the channel, new subscribers. Hello, where have you been? <laughs> Thank you so much for joining this amazing, wonderful, beautiful family right here on On Trending. And of course, my returning subscribers, as always. Thank you so much for your love, support, everything nice you do to me on this specific channel. I most definitely don't take you for granted, even one bit. Guys, for the past two days, I've gone through the comment section every person so clap for me i hope i do the same for the last video that i uploaded during the day this is the second video for the day okay it's a lot of work lots of comments <laughs> and i'm coming back guys to appreciate you for taking time as well to write on the comment section i appreciate everything okay so now one person did tell me that to go back and check there was money in Rose DJ's wallet. In case you don't know, we are here to react about the Maras, okay? It's a reaction video. <laughs> and so I had to go back and I didn't see any money in the wallet. No, there was no money, okay? And Maro actually and Rocio mom knew there was no money in that wallet because they opened all the wallets and all gifts that they were given, they had just to confirm if there was cash in there, okay? So now the question was, why come back on the day of gifting Rose DJ and start saying that, oh, you forgot to put money here and you had taken this wallet from this man and he hadn't put anything in there. Anyways, we looked at that yesterday. We said it was quite irrelevant, okay, for Marwa and Rocio mom to go to Jamaican uncle to tell him that he didn't put any money in there yet everybody else was getting money okay so it is what it is there was no money in Rose DJ's wallet initially even when Mara was being given these things to go put for his workers okay now on the day of the arrival of Jamaican uncle I did note something and it disturbed my mind okay I ask you guys I feel like you're bent somehow maybe there okay i felt like we were like this <laughs> so on the day when he arrived there was a little fight between rocio mom and the what, what are they called masubo is called only masubo is called assistant manager okay because Rose DJ anyways was not around, she's been unwell and she had gone home for maybe a sick leave <laughs> until when she had uncle has come bearing gifts, okay? So I want us to look at that as a first receipt. Today it's chap chap. I had a video earlier, I don't want to do a long video today. Besides, my camera will just switch off any moment from now, okay? So let's keep moving. Let me play you those receipts and then we come back. Move to the next thing, chap chap, and then we call it a day. A very special visitor from Jamaica who just arrived. Let's go meet him. But before then, let Rocio say good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yes, we are yet to fix our bed. Let me go meet. Uh, or we go, Rocio, with you, ma'am. Where is our guest? Our guest. In his room already? Yeah. In the room already? No, why? Ah, but it's, it's okay. But guys, please, why don't you but follow it's, my it's, room? It's, guys, why, why, why? It was supposed to but, be clean, I see. But he already went in. But first of all, first of all, first of all, there's a small issue. Rocio, Ros they didn't prepare this room yesterday because our manager has been sick. She's not, she has not. What's going on? The room was supposed to be ready before you receive a guest. Yeah. You cannot be cleaning the room while you, the guest is already inside. Oh no. Hello. Yes, the lion, man. You know, long one with the lion. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. I'm good, man. Sorry, they were supposed to Don't make me yourself, yesterday. Don't worry yourself, man. How are you, bro? Yes. Mistress. Yes. Yeah, man. Mistress. Karibu so. sana. That's what we say. Welcome so much. Okay. Thank yes. you so much, yes. man. Yes, Karibu. Really appreciate I'm doing, it. I'm doing a short vlog here. Guys, okay. so we have a special visitor. You can introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Danny. Yes. 
I'm from Jamaica. Yes. But I live in the US. Okay. For a couple of years. Yes. And I decided that I want to come and visit. visit okay. This great man. All right. Karibu sana. He's Thank you. very great. Karibu sana. And I tell you, I have a lot of respect for you. Okay. Thank respect you. Respect for you till only God no more can tell. <laughs> <laughs> He's a real lion. Ah. Tell you, man. This was sent from God. Thank you so sent much. Sent from God, man. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and Rome? Yes. With you? Yes. I'm telling you, man. man she lift you up in a way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I, I never see a woman lift up another man, a man like that. Yeah, I agree. I agree yeah, man. so much. And so I much. can't wait till you see the two of get married. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for that. Yeah, let me, let I have to see. give you guys a special gift. Yeah, no day. problem. Let me see if they are doing the good thing here. You know, this was supposed. Yes, our manager has been uh -huh. sick. Yes. So for the last two days, she's not come. Okay, okay. And she was supposed to prepare. Don't worry, but, yourself, man. But don't worry. Don't worry, yourself. Okay. I'm good. I'm good. Thank I'm good. you. I have to take out my shoes. Yes. And get a walk, and I'll get grounded out there before okay. coming. <laughs> Well, first, guys, we have a special visitor from Jamaica. He says he's the first generation to come here. I think we'll need some uh, slippers. Um, oh, yeah. The towels are there. We want we slippers. Need the slippers and the, the shampoo and the, the creams. Yes. Yeah, please, please. And this people should have prepared yesterday because we knew he was coming. But you know our manager has been sick guys so she's the most most of the time she's the one who organizes rooms and again we lost our host so we were confused a little bit but let me say hello to my mom here all right so now this early morning rocio mom rocio dad have woken up okay <laughs> <laughs> and they're saying there's a guest who's coming and if i remember right Mara had been saying this prior in his later or his older videos that we're expecting someone important vvip guest to come in so i knew everybody was aware that jamaican uncle was coming okay so i don't understand why we are waking up in the morning going and asking where is uncle i hear he's arrived so that means no one was there to welcome him when he got to the villa. I don't understand these things, guys. I do not understand what is happening. So uncle comes into your villa. No one was there to welcome him. And when I'm saying no one, it doesn't mean the Masubos and all these other ladies working there. I mean the owner of the house and his internet wife. They were not there to receive uncle. So when they wake up, uncle is already in the room. And con not congrats, Rocio mom, <laughs> Rocio mom is mad, Rocio mom is angry, yes, and she's saying, why don't you follow my rules, Rocio dad has already picked this energy that is now going towards negativity, okay, and he wants to minus himself from the situation, and he's saying that, oh, Rocio mom is not happy, so Rocio mom, I have a question, Okay, because Mara came to say that they didn't prepare the room yesterday. They didn't prepare the room yesterday because house manager is sick. How many days did they start mentioning that this guy is coming? How many days prior? Because I know it's a booked appointment. Did he say that he's coming and we're still here running around? The room is not ready. Why? The <laughs> guys. <laughs> the excuse honestly cannot be oh manager is not here manager is unwell the same thing they did when they put this guy on the table to feed by himself okay and Mara is saying oh remove those plates no 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 don't give the the guest this plate Nasto change it give him this one you know the manager is not around I'm asking is there no female or is it that <laughs> it's just on the camera that we call her wife so does it mean that Rocio mom cannot do anything? Cannot do anything, including cleaning the room prior before this guy comes. I was so heartbroken. I was shocked. I was like, okay, so the guest has come and has gone into a dirty room. Because by the time Rocio mom is walking there, she's saying that it's wrong to have these people clean when the guest is already in the room. Where were you? The days prior before the guest came. 
Why didn't you ensure that the room is clean, slippers in there, soap in there, towels, and all these mosquito repellents, the ones that you put on the bed? Why were <laughs> why were they not ready? <laughs> Mine is boiling. Why were these things not ready, guys? That is what I'm asking. So now Rocio is here having a moment, and I'm like, hello. As the woman of the house, you're supposed to know what your guest is going to be eating. For example, what your guest is going to be finding in their rooms. Their rooms have to be clean, sparkling, everything in place. You go in there, tell them this is this, this, and that, and la la, full stop. But we are here now saying that, oh, you don't follow my rules. What rules? What rules? Rose DJ is not there. Assistant managers go to cook beans and rice every single day in that outside, <laughs> outside store. <laughs> outside the outside store. And people are here making noise every corner. And I'm like, why are we making noise? The excuse cannot be that our manager is not around. So does it mean that nothing happens? What is Rocio mom's work? I saw Congrats Ma hug her when, you know, they had gone to pick the gifts from this guy after he'd settled in. And Congrats Ma is saying, oh, thank you so much, Rocio, for making it possible for visitors to be coming in. I think something like that. And then she says, make sure they get something to eat. They had something to eat, but they ate for themselves, by themselves, with no hosts sitting around the table with them. I thought this only happened, happened once because someone did say, why are you complaining? And it's only once. Mara has never done this thing again. Hello, we come back with receipts. <laughs> I was shocked. I was like, okay. So it means that Jamaican uncle has been feeding by himself. They just look for anybody. Just, oh, Masubo, come eat with this guy. Oh, Gintu, come and eat with the guest. I'm going to the room to eat with Rocio Mam. I thought it was once as well. Let us look at these receipts. <laughs> That's a good I'll go now with Rocio. Yeah. Uh, Why is Masubo? Masubo should come and eat together with him. That's why I don't want to do it because just come. Oh, there's a, the other is here. Uh, I'll call him, don't worry. No, I'll call him. You just come. Mustiana, I'll give you a cake of chakula, a cake of chakula, a cake of chakula, a cake of chakula. No, just eat. Yes, I really. I, I wish my son was here to eat with me. Let me call. Thank you so much. Okay, just enjoy. Yeah, man, I'm enjoying. And we have porridge. Yes, yeah. The I'm one you start. said okay. you, you like to see yeah, my mom. Yeah, man, man. Yes, but I don't think nobody can make it as good as you, yeah, my mom. mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she's sick right I now, know, but I, she know. Will. I wouldn't want her to try it. Either. Okay. I don't want to get her. Let me see yeah, if Masubo is here so he can come and eat breakfast with the visitor. It's been amazing, guys. I don't know where Masubo is. Um... Masubo! Masubo! Maybe he went to his room. So I look for him. He comes and eats with the, the visitor, which is Jamaican. Uncle, hey, Jamaican uncle has really done a lot for us guys. Anyways, Danny, Danny is the Jamaican uncle. He says, I hope the best for you guys. Okay. Can't wait for Rocio and Marwa to marry. I also can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> we should have been having the firstborn already brewing. <laughs> Burn in the oven by now. But it is what it is. Now, before I go to my next clip, something so quick. I saw them go to a waterfall, okay? And I'm looking at Rocio mom in her swimsuit. Rocio mom, you need to eat, please. Please, please, we cannot be counting your ribs just like this. You need to eat. Eat. You're not eating. Maybe it's boring food. Maybe she doesn't want to eat. But this, when you jumped from two meals or three meals per day to one meal per day, you are punishing yourself. No wonder your mom is crying from Argentina. Come back home, my daughter. Rocio, mom, eat, please. <laughs> in this house we say if you don't eat you become a dot Rocio mom is a dot if wind just comes she'll just be blown okay <laughs> and she'll be gone <laughs> 
up. Rose your mom, rose your dad. <laughs> Took their butts into the bedroom. <laughs> Before they died. And they, f they fed these two birds porridge. <laughs> I was like, yeah? Which one is this one again? Why is this? Why didn't I see this video? Let us look at the receipts and then we come back and close. <laughs> I don't want to be here for long. My camera charge is, hey God, we are at 14%, okay? I hope it holds. <laughs> it's preparing us because right here we're going to have a helicopter landing. So yesterday, guys, remember we received some strange small birds and uh, we want to check on them. We will actually remove them from here and put them where they belong. But yesterday, it was very late for us to prepare a place for them. Hello. Whoa, they are doing well. Very active. Wow. You know, we gave, we gave them uh, we gave them porridge, uh, and this porridge is very nutritious. So it worked for sure. Hey, 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 hey. But today we remove we move them to a new room, and we'll keep them until they are able to walk freely alone. And if they decide to go, they can go. But if they decide to stay, they will stay because. For those who have no idea what I'm talking about is the video before this video some random guys came to my home with small chicks they said they found them on the road and they wanted me to keep them but at a price for sure so I looked at these chicks I realized if I say no to them these guys may end up just throwing them and maybe them dying in the street or in the bush. I don't know where even it's mom is. I have no history about them. So we decided uh, we bring them home. And yesterday we gave them food. Rocio, yes. you've seen them? And um, this morning, no, no yet. <laughs> you want to see them? Let's see. Yes. <sighs> Order. Yes. <laughs> hey, we fed them. Hey, they look, they look happy. Look, they are strong, right? Yes. So that means the food we yeah, gave. Look, look, look. It's already gone. That means the food we gave them was good. Wow. Guys, they even pooping strong. Actually, they are pooping what we gave them. Look, guys. Oh, it oh it just went out to poop. So that's very well trained. <laughs> Look, they are tall, tall birds. Look. You have another one here. No, not to the side. <laughs> Now Rocio has a new activity. Oh my god, living with Mara is like that. <laughs> new pets all the time. You know what I think, mom? I can't wait seeing them grow and, and flying. And Rocio doing the hand like this and they're sitting on your hand. But these are big birds, I'm told. The cranes, I think. Cranes, you know? The African crane, the one that has something here, like tall. Sometimes they pass here and say, Go on, go on, go on, go on. The small strange birds slept <laughs> in Mara's bedroom in a box. <laughs> and they put like a small carpet, a small cloth for them to be pooing. Mara is saying that, oh, they even pooing the porridge we gave them. Now they are strong. Look at them so energetic. And I'm like, what is this? Okay. So from that morning, they said they were moving them to the outside <laughs> house where all animals stay and live. And that is where uncle came and said the birds had passed on. 
Maybe they were eaten by the rats. You never know because that place has got rats. I don't know what really happened, but they didn't survive. What a sad story because Congrats Ma had come out to say that, you know what, just leave these birds to go back with those guys because they need mother's care until when they're fully grown. They're just little birds. They look cute, but hello. You don't even know how they grow, how big they get, and they had been snatched from their mothers and these guys were given money and they disappeared immediately they were paid okay so they were there for the money they didn't care if they survived or not okay so it is what it is so ross your mom it doesn't matter it doesn't matter if the horse died mara saying that the horse died and we were confused so everybody forgot <laughs> that our uncle was supposed to be visiting and so they didn't make prior arrangements especially on his room okay it was quite embarrassing he will not show it but i can think what he's thinking and then after that you guys just leave this guy to be feeding by himself without caring oh the couple has got to go eat in their room in their bedroom looking at their compound they've got a view and you've left your own gifter your own vvip feeding by himself, throwing all these other boys on him so that they just eat with him. What conversations are they holding? They didn't come there to see them. They came there to see you, Marwa. And in extension, Rosio mom should also assist you in welcoming visitors in this house properly, the African way. I'm seeing everybody coming to the comment section and saying it's not, it's not only in Africa. Courtesy and welcoming visitors, making them feel at home cuts across the globe absolutely but guys when i react most of the time i react from an african angle because at times the african way is different from the western way okay so i hope you do understand but i know courtesy the way you receive your guest and treat them tells a lot about your character your behavior we can see through you the way you interact with people around you especially the way you welcome people in your home. So it is what it is. If you're not subscribed, <laughs> it was short and sweet, guys, okay? <laughs> and would love to subscribe. Always know that you are free to do so. And I on trending will definitely catch you on my next video. Like this video. I wanted to say like, like this video if you can. And of course, turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss out on my next upload, which is going to be tomorrow. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. And hooray, we are at 10%. It didn't go off. <laughs> Catch you later, guys. Bye-bye.